Hello, everybody, and um, welcome to this uh, live during which we will speak about the ECAM engineering program. Thank you for joining us. So this is our last uh, live. So you probably watched our um, uh, few uh, live before during which we spoke about the concentrations. Today we will talk again about the admission process. So we will be explaining you uh, the different steps of the admission process. We will also speak about the program and more in detail, we will um, speak with Michael, my colleague, about um, what will happen once you are enrolled, once you are a, a student uh, within the ACAM engineering program. So what you have to do in terms of uh, visa, accommodation, health insurance, et cetera, et cetera. So first of all, before starting, I will introduce myself and then I will ask um, all the person that you see also to, to introduce themselves. So I am Lorena and I work for the um, admission department. And if you apply for the ECAM engineering program, at some point we will be for sure uh, in touch uh, because I will take care of the admission process and I will accompany you throughout uh, the whole uh, application process. And I am here today with Michael, Loic and Carl, so I will let you introduce yourself. Uh, I'll go. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael. I also work with Lorena, but not in the recruitment admissions department, but in the international relations department. I'm the international coordinator who's in charge of incoming international students. So what that means is pretty much once you're with us, I'm the one who's going to be making sure you have everything that administrative health a lot of things we'll talk about it later it's not always the most interesting things but it's quite important it's a big part of coming to france and we try to make it as easy for you as possible i'll go with uh, the week since you're right above me yeah uh so hello everyone i'm loic loic de uh i've joined the uh, acam uh, at the start of this uh, school year so i'm in the first year of um, the engineering program uh, I come from uh, the U.S., where I've, uh, I've lived there uh, five years. Hello, everyone. My name is Carl. Uh, I'm in my third year of studies of the ECAM engineering program. I come from Lebanon, and uh, I joined the program in uh, September 2019. Okay, thank you very much. So, to start, I will um, explain briefly again uh, the main characteristic of the um, ECAM engineering program. So, I will share my screen so you can have a look at the um, structure of the program. Uh, normally, you should be able to see. Uh, so, um, the ECAM engineering program it is a five-year uh, engineering degree, um, which is uh, based on a three plus two uh, structure. Meaning, meaning that you will have three years of what we call general engineering classes and two years of uh, specialization. During the, the, um, the first three years, you will be studying not only the fundamental scientific um, uh, sciences like mathematics and physics, but you will be also able to discover uh, the four specializations that are proposed within uh, this program. You, will, uh, you can see them. Uh, so the four specialization is uh, our robotics and IT, energy engineering, industrial and supply chain management, and mechanical design engineering. How you will be discovering this uh, specialization? This is done through um, workshops that you will be able um, to do in each one of these uh, specializations, and also throughout um, the different projects you will be working on during the first uh, three years. Then on year three, um, you will be choosing your specialization, but you will still be uh, studying uh, general engineering. There is just a small amount of the specialization that is done on year three. And the real uh, moment when you will uh, specialize is year four and then year five. 
On year four, you are still at Ecam Lyon in France. And on year five, you will be going abroad in a partner university, uh, which will be also the university that will uh, deliver you the uh, double degree. So this program, uh, one of the main uh, characteristics is that uh, it is a double degree uh, program, meaning that at the end of the five year, you will be um, having the mechanical and electrical engineering degree delivered by Ecam Lyon, plus a master of science, which is delivered by the partner university. Um, very important, during the five years of uh, classes, of courses, you will be having three uh, internships. Internships are very important because they um, give you the opportunity to really gain a practical experience on uh, what you are uh, studying. And it is up to you to choose where you want to do uh, your internships, with, so which type of um, company, and also if you like to do it uh, in France or, or abroad. So these are the main characteristics of the program. We will um, speak now a little bit about, um, about it with uh, Loïc and Carl. So let's stop sharing my screen. I should be back. Okay, so um, uh, Loïc, first of all, uh, you arrived uh, this year. You said you arrived uh, from the US. So I would like to know, why you um, decide to enroll uh, within the ECAM engineering program? Um, so after finishing high school in the US, uh, my family was planning to go back to France and I was feeling like going to college in France was the right thing for me. But I wanted to keep, the, keep my level of English and to uh, still pursue the uh, engineering uh, programs, uh, but in, in English, so I started looking into, into schools, and ACAM was the one where um, they were the most receptive to the education that I was getting in the US. So I was in the International Baccalaureate, and um, it was uh, very uh, easy to, um, to see how I could um, apply what I was learning in that program in the US to a French school, but with a more international touch. Okay, thank you. And um, have you been working on any projects during your first year? Um, yes, I've had uh, a few workshops where we've discovered the, the Fab Lab with all the machines, uh, where we, we created um, some, some few pieces to get to know the, the machineries. And also we'll be working in, in teams to create uh, a little short film on some sustainable development issues to um, and that will be uh, I believe displayed on the the ECAM website. Okay, okay, thank you very much. And um, also apart from projects and workshops, can you tell us what you do you really study on year one? Which are the main subjects you are you are studying right now? Uh, very the it's it's core. Um, core subjects of uh, the in, of engineering. So mainly it's math and uh, physics with uh, mechan uh, mechanical engineering and some mechanical design too with uh, on paper and on computer, uh, some chemistry and thermodynamics. Okay, thank you very much, Loïc. Um, Carl, uh, so you arrived Directly on year two, so um, it is important because uh, for the international students that are watching us, for the ECAM engineering program, you have to know that you are able to apply in year one, uh, year two, or year three based on your uh, academic background. And Carl, you arrived directly uh, on year two. So can you tell us a little bit about your experience as a student? Uh, how did you cope with the fact that you arrived uh, a year later, in respect uh, of your classmates? Yes, so uh, before coming uh, to Lyon, uh, I was a bit worried that uh, I'm coming in second year and maybe that uh, there are some courses I didn't take. But uh, after coming uh, to uh, ICAM, um, I was perfectly accommodated by my classmates and my teachers who helped me a lot to uh, cover uh, some courses that I didn't take before coming. So that, that went uh, pretty smooth. 
Uh, and yes, as you said, I came into the second year, and before that, I studied the mechanical engineering. So, yes. Okay. And um, how do you, what, what have you been studying? Um, so, we heard um, Loic, who's in first year, you are now on your third year. What have you been studying during the, the, these two years at ECAM? So, in the second year, uh, we take uh, also math, um, physics, and uh, some mechanical design. Uh, plus, um, we take some courses uh, like uh, thermodynamics two or the uh, the other part of the courses of the second year. And after, in the third year, uh, we take some more uh, fundamental engineering courses that are uh, that we can apply more in the re real world. And uh, in the third year, we have to make a choice of. Uh, in the second year, we have to make a choice of the concentration for the third year. And, uh, and uh, during the spring semester, the concentration courses begin, and then uh, we can uh, uh, see uh, more real life applications to our studies. Okay. And so you have already uh, chosen your specialization. Which one it is? I chose uh, robotics and IT uh, for the third, fourth, and fifth year. Okay, and can you tell us why this uh, specialization? So, uh, before coming at ECAM, I didn't know much about the robotics and IT uh, specialization or courses in engineering. Uh, I didn't really like it before, but uh, when I came uh, here uh, in my second year, we did some workshops that uh, allowed me to uh, explore new uh, fields of engineering and really opened my eyes to uh, the robotics uh, field. So uh, in my second year, I was hesitating between industrial and robotics, but at the end I chose robotics because I really liked the courses and it was really interesting for me. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Okay, so now I will just quickly explain again um, the admission process. So I will uh, share again my screen. So once, uh, when you are on our website, uh, it is very easy um, to gather all the information. So this is the main page of the ECAM engineering uh, program. And you see you have a menu here, and one is dedicated to admission. So one, one you click, um, once you click on admission, you can have some uh, information, and then you can go into a specific uh, description of the application process, also the requested documents. So once you are in the application process, um, you will be able to watch this video, which I invite you to, uh, to take a look to, because it's very simple, but it gives uh, all the basic information that you need to know uh, before uh, applying or, or while uh, you are already in the, in the process. So basically, the um, application process is divided into four steps. Uh, you have a description of each step um, uh, in this page with also information about when the admission board uh, takes place. So, first of all, you have to submit uh, your application online. Uh, so, there is a dedicated platform uh, on which we will ask you to fulfill several information and we will also ask you to upload uh, all the, the requested documents. Then, you will be invited to um, a scientific uh, test and if you pass the scientific test you will be taking um, an online motivation interview. Once we have those three elements uh, you will be uh, going the one of the available admission panel so the jury will review all these elements so your uh, academic results, the results to the uh, scientific test and also uh, explore your motivation through the, the interview. If you are an eligible candidate for admission, you will be invited to the very last step, which is the English assessment. So either you are able to send us um, a B2 certificate, so either Cambridge certificates, um, IELTS or TOEFL are accepted, or if you don't have any, uh, we will be inviting you to take an online English test. Once the uh, English level is, uh, is assessed, you will be uh, receiving an official admission uh, proposition. And then it is up to you to decide uh, whether or not you want to join us. 
and if you decide uh, to join us uh you will be now uh, in touch with michael who will take care uh, of uh, accompanying you uh, for the visa procedure and he will also be giving you all the information about healthcare insurance accommodation so i will um uh, give michael the possibility to share his screen and to explain us more in detail what is going to happen once you are uh, a student in uh, in the Atom Engineering program? Thanks, Lorena. Hold on, let me get just a little bit set up. But like Lorena was just saying, I'll be the one helping you with a lot of the administrative procedures. Unfortunately, administrative procedures are not always the most interesting, but we try our best. Let me just get the presentation going. Mm, quick. And let's share my screen. I think you can see my screen. All right. Perfect. So there are about four main categories of how we're going to help our international students here. The first, which is quite important, especially for our non-European students or non-European Union students, to be more precise, is immigration assistance. Luckily, there's already quite a few programs in place, but there's the Student Welcome Desk, which is run by the city of Leon. But also, personally, since, as you can probably tell, I'm not very French myself, and I gone through quite a bit of the application procedures. I am in constant contact with the immigration authorities here. So also I can also assist students when you have to put together your file to apply to renew your visa, renew your titre de séjour, little French lesson of the day for you. And also with the prefecture. The prefecture is the, let's just say the department who manages immigration in France. And also, thanks to where I am, it's like I can also get in touch with people at the prefecture to kind of also see if there's a problem with your file. So we're able to help you through quite a few of the aspects. There's a little bit of the institutional. I'm able to also see what's the problem. And then also, after you graduate, there's quite a few immigration formalities if you decide to stay in France, which I hope you do but also that's quite a few things that we'll also be able to assist you with. So we try to assist you from starting when you first reply, apply for a visa, which is gonna be Lorena who helps you with the application. And then from the rest on, I'll be helping you. Also healthcare, which once again, also not always the most interesting, but luckily it's universal, which is free and mandatory for all students in France. And even this, it applies to pretty much everybody. I've even had French students who have lived outside of France their entire lives and have never been in the social security system. So I also assist them with getting in contact with the right people, how to apply so they can finally get their social security number, even though they're French. So it doesn't even matter if you're French, European, or even non-European. It's always something that can be sometimes a little bit complicated, so part of my job is here to help you through the process and also to help you understand it as most people can tell you while it's a very good system it's not the most it's not the easiest to understand of all systems so once again i'll also be providing you information about how to understand the system and how to make sure that you're getting the most you can out of the system also, when it comes to housing, we're here to make sure that you guys all have housing and or as much as we can. We have quite a few partners, so we can get you into private student residences, a private apartment in the city, or even public student housing, depending on your budget, what you expect, and also what you're looking from the experience. And then also there's the public assistance because there's quite a bit of public assistance in France, such as the housing aid, the GAF, or APL, which is not always the easiest for somebody who doesn't understand the system. It's, once again, France is a very bureaucratic country, so we just try to make sure that we help you navigate through the system, because once you're in the system, it's, it functions quite well, and we make sure that you get integrated and into the system as soon as possible. And then there's just also some other international student services that we do. We've done activities where we go oh, visit museums, 
we've visited a couple of like local breweries or anything just so you can get a feel for the local culture and we even have barbecues at the top of the hill it's quite nice and it kind of gets everybody in so you can meet the other international students and start building that community as soon as possible there's also quite a bit of insurance which that adds on to a little bit of the just the general administrative aspect of friends but once again we walk you through the process a to z so usually at the end of the day most of the time it's just saying michael can you get this and i can make sure that happens and then also there's just the general assistance it's you're going to be in a new city for most of you you're going to be in a new city and just getting things like a metro card knowing where to go i even had to give out like restaurant recommendations and all that's perfectly fine and those are things that i really enjoy doing because as soon as you guys start making lee on your home it gets a lot easier for you and you guys get a little bit more independent right away so those are the main points of what i as the international student services and the international relations department what we can offer to students but once again most of the thing it's the general assistance is quite large so we really try to help students as much as possible for even some of like the more mundane like, problems that they don't even think would be a problem but with usually with us because we have the um, know-how and also we're just kind of used to how france works usually what has taken students over a month to try to even get to talk to one person in an afternoon i've been able to get it taken care of so that's the uh, things that we really want to offer our students while they're with us okay thank you very much michael <laughs> So I forgot to say it before, but for those of you who are uh, online, um, ask your question. So it is very important uh, for you to use uh, this time uh, to exchange with us. So if there is any question regarding the program, the admission process, or uh, everything that Michael has just explained, just write your uh, question in the in the chat, and we will be reading and uh, answer to them uh, straight away. So talking about um, visa and what it is needed to do, um, Carl, you come from Lebanon, so you had to undergo the visa uh, procedure. Can you explain us a little bit what you needed to do uh, for the visa, what, uh, which were the documents you needed? Do uh, you had any troubles, any problems during the, the procedure and how you managed to, to solve? So uh, after being accepted in the program um, and after receiving an official confirmation, uh, all the steps was written uh, in an email, I think. Uh, so I had to go to Campus France, which is the, uh, the place where you apply uh, for your visa. Uh, and after that, uh, in Campus France, they ask you a lot of questions and uh, some passport related stuff. and. Uh, official transcript, uh, bank statements, um, and uh, other other documents. So after uh, applying there, about in, uh, in two or three weeks, we have an interview. And uh, in that interview, they also check up, again, your docu all your documents to make sure they're correct. And after that, you get a visa for the first year of studies uh, in uh, France. After the first year, you have to apply for a carte de séjour which uh, is a card that lets you uh, uh, go within Europe and uh, really stay in France for a certain period of time. Okay, thank you very much. And maybe, Michael, you can explain shortly what it is, the carte de séjour, because maybe some students do not know what, what is it. I don't really know how to say it in English, so maybe you have the word. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, since what fans sometimes so love to make words up that and they like to have concepts that nobody else really needs but it's friends you have to love it but a carte de séjour or titre de séjour they both more or less mean the same thing also another beauty of the french language that hopefully you get to learn but they're more like a residency permit so when you come into france you'll get a visa which is also and legally, it's also a titre de séjour. You'll get a VLSTS, which means it's a titre de séjour, but it's a visa. After your, when you renew your visa for the first time, 
you'll get a titre de séjour, which is not a visa, even though they do the same thing. But it's just because you're now in the system and now you no longer need the visa, you've been accepted into France, so you get to stay in France. So kind of think of it as your card to stay in France. So it's a lot easier because you don't need to carry your passport around. And usually it's for a longer duration. So usually after you renew your visa, most of the time it should be valid for the length of your studies. There's sometimes a little bit, not always, because they still can make it a little bit shorter, just so they can make sure people stay in the country. But for the most part, most students will get, so let's say you come in as a first year student into the EK engineering program. So you have a visa that will cover you for your first year. Usually when you renew your visa, you should get a titre de séjour, a carte de séjour, or the residency permit that should last until the end of your studies, so the end of your fifth year. And usually, even if something does happen and the end of your fifth year is prolonged because you have your internship or something else, it's usually quite easy, even though it might, especially now since it's now online, so they made it a little bit easier. Quite a few of the processes have been made a little bit easier, and now it's easier to renew and extend your residency permit. So once again, there's quite a bit of French that you'll have to learn just to know the right terms. But for the most part, it's quite simple, even though sometimes it can be a little bit long. But usually you're walking through everything. So the process, there's checklists, and we can make sure that everything is taken care of. OK, thank you very much, Michael, for explaining a little bit the titre de, de séjour. So this is only uh, valid for the non-European uh, students. So if you are an European student, you will need no visa. So no titre de séjour is uh, needed once you are uh, in France. Um, talking about um, uh, accommodation, uh, maybe, uh, Michael, you can just simply um, explain what is available um, for our students. There's mainly one residence, uh, which is what our partner uh, residence um, for the international students. And then I will uh, ask you, uh, Carl and Loic, you are both living in your own uh, apartment, so you're not living on campus. But maybe you can tell us, uh, was it difficult to find uh, an apartment? What did you do? Uh, what did you have to do um, to get your um, your apartment in, uh, in Lyon? So Michael, if you can just Tell us about the residences. Of course. Uh, let me I'll see if I can get some websites up uh, right real quick. But we have a couple, we have three main partners that we can use for students with their housing needs. Our main partner right now for our international students will be in the public house, the public student housing, which is run by the French government. And it's called the Cruz. And it's very near on near to campus. I think it's about a 15 to 20 minute walk. It, I think it takes me about 15 minutes and I'm definitely not a very fast walker. So let me just see what, let me get this up real quick and let me share my screen. So what we have in this first one, unfortunately there's not very much in terms of pictures on the website, but that is the type of room, that picture that you see on the left right here. That is the kind of room, so you'd be thinking about a 10 square meter apartment, which I think in US terms is about 100 square feet, more or less. And with individual like bathrooms, so you don't need to share bathrooms, but the kitchens are shared. Luckily, because it is public, it's actually quite reasonably priced. I believe the, it's about 270 euro a month for this, which has also all utilities included. So you'll have your internet, you have your water heating and other things, which for France and especially Lyon, that's quite reasonable. So it's also very good for most international students, especially since you're new here and setting up a new budget for a place you're not, it's nice to have a little bit more wiggle room in the beginning so you can find out how to budget properly in France when you get here. It's not much more expensive than, let's just say, most other like Western countries. But just when you get here, it might be a little bit difficult. Just know how you. So we have that, and that's 
what we mostly recommend for our international students when they get here for the first time. But we also have another partnership, which is a little bit more, uh, for lack of a better term, like luxurious, not really luxurious. But we have a partnership with another institution, which we've worked with for quite a while, which is called the Logifac. And they have quite a few student residences, especially in Lyon. Like, let's just see, Lyon. So you'll be in their student residence halls, but they're private student residence halls. And usually the rooms also fully furnished, but they also tend to be a little bit larger than what you find in a cruise housing and with a little bit more amenities and also more in the city center compared to which the cruise is very close to the Leon campus but it also depends so the prices are a little bit higher but also you're more in the city center and also you have a little bit more amenities compared to another thing and then the last one we do have a platform that we also have for our students studapass which all wants to get your ecam identification, such as your username and password, you're able to go on that. And that's more also kind of private housing. So you'll be able to actually find apartments. Sometimes you can find people who want to do a roommate type situation. So we try to really help students all throughout the procedure. So we have the cruise, which is usually like a very low cost, close to campus and quite affordable. We have Logifac which is a very good partner who has residences all throughout the city. So if you know there's a special part of town that you want to stay in, you can also choose with them. And usually you can get an apartment, especially if you book early. And also because part of our ECAM partnership with them is you don't have to pay some of the fees for booking. So some of the booking fees are waived for ECAM students. And then you have the student part, which is also kind of where it gets you to look and they have quite a few apartments that don't need a garon, which another French term of the day, which is garon. And that's uh, somebody like a co. Let's, let's really think about it right now because it's kind of a co-signer. So it's somebody. It has to be somebody who lives in France, who makes quite a bit of money, about three times the amount of the rent. And that's usually in France. That's what you need to have an apartment is you need somebody who will sign for you. So if you don't pay, they do. But for international students who don't have family in France, that's usually quite difficult. So these three solutions all kind of sidestep that problem, either with the Logifac or the Cruise, where it's just not needed, or Studapart, where they have quite a few apartments and you can even look for apartments that don't even ask for a gallon. So we try to make sure that there's as many opportunities available to you as possible. But once again, also when it comes to housing, it's one of the best reasons also to confirm, like apply and confirm your admission to ECAM as soon as possible. Leon is very housing. There's a lot of demand for housing. So it's usually a very first come, first serve. So the sooner you're in the system, the sooner we can help you get an apartment or housing somewhere, the better off you are. Then when you wait until the last minute, gets quite a bit more difficult. It's like a lot of sleepless nights for us and for you. So once again, it's something that we try to take care of as soon as possible. Usually as soon as you confirm your admission, you'll be in contact with me, Lorena, and maybe even somebody else to make sure that we get you housing as soon as possible because it is challenging even for people who live in France and even for French people. Yes, this is true. So. This is a good point. So as soon as it, pos as it is possible for you, it is a good uh, thing to confirm uh, your enrollment so that we can start taking care of the next steps which are very important, uh, like the visa procedure that sometimes can take a few months uh, and find uh, an accommodation. So uh, Loic and Carl, you're both living in your own apartment. Uh, maybe you can tell us how did it go for you? Was it easy? What did you have to do to have your own uh, apartment? Uh, Louis, for you, maybe it was a bit easier. Maybe you have family in France, but tell us a little bit about your experience. 
Yeah, for me, it was the easiest solution. I still live with my parents, so I didn't have really anything to do other than just uh, follow them. And we're right in the center of Lyon, so it's the ideal situation for me. So I can't can't really speak of experience here. Okay, ah, okay. So I didn't understand that you're leaving. your family moved with you from US. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay, okay. But so Carl, uh, maybe you can tell us because it, it had to be maybe challenging. Uh, because you come from uh, Lebanon, so how did you manage to find your, your own flat? Yes, it was challenging, qu quite challenging at first. So uh, I was accepted, I think, in the program in March. So as soon as I was accept accepted in March, April, I started uh, looking for apartments. Um, I wanted my own personal space and, and I wanted my own apartment. So uh, that's what I searched for. But uh, as you said, uh, uh, Michael, it's quite challenging in France, uh, uh, and especially if you don't live there. So uh, most of the most of the people will require a visit to the apartment, which you can do. So I would advise everyone to uh, search for apartment as soon as possible and search for apartments close to the university if they don't want to go to the student housing, which I recommend to do for the first year. So in that way, you can see which part of, parts of the city you really like and uh, where would you want to live afterwards if you decide to go outside the student housing. So yeah, that's basically it. So the first year I was uh, 20 to 30 minutes from the university and now I'm quite close because I really know all the parts of the city and I got acquainted with uh, everything. Yes, so um, this is also very good. Um... Uh, experience that you that you had what we suggest is exactly you maybe want to stay your first or second year in one of our residences because it's much more comfortable for you coming uh, from abroad to have uh, your own room within one of our residences but then of course we really encourage you to go uh, outside the campus and find your own uh, flat, you will have your own independence, independence so it will be uh, maybe a different style uh, of, uh, of life. Uh, one thing I forget to talk about is the, um, the French language uh, classes, uh, which it is important, it seems out of the blue, but uh, it is very important because uh, most of our international students, once they arrive in France, they do not speak French. So it is sometimes quite difficult to understand. Michael was saying how difficult it is to understand bureaucracy in France. So very important, once you arrive at ECAM, uh, you will be able to take French um, as a second language classes. So within a matter of maybe a few months, a year, you will be able to speak French and to uh, have any kind of interaction with uh, other students or uh, outside, uh, outside campus. Okay, so um, now I just want to um, come back a little bit about uh, the admission process, because I didn't ask you uh, any question about it. Um, so, Loïc, you are in a specific situation because you're French, but you could not apply uh, through the parcours uh, procedure, which is the procedure uh, res reserved to the students who are in the French uh, education system why you couldn't do that and also can you tell us how you felt during the admission process was it difficult anything uh, which is you think it is relevant to share uh, with the prospect student um yeah i couldn't go to parcoursup even though i'm french because um the the american baccalaureate just doesn't translate to a french baccalaureate it's really not equivalent and even though I was taking an international courses, it wouldn't translate there uh, either. So I went through the international uh, admission process uh, for the chem engineering program, and I thought it was pretty um, pretty straightforward. It's indicated what information you have to enter and how you would have to get this information. So all all I had to enter for for my part of just. Um, uh, from my experience, would be a CV and a cover letter. But except from that, it's more of administrative stuff. So um, money, uh, if I can live in France, if I have family, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then uh, once I had all of this uh, filled up, which 
took about two, three days. Um, I had, uh, as, um, as Lorena uh, said, a little interview um, where I had to just speak to the camera, but by the way, I have some uh, questions uh, pop up and I have to talk uh, and answer about them. So it would be uh, more personal stuff. And uh, a little quiz on uh, scientific uh, knowledge, but uh, usually uh, I think if you have taken the, um, the courses and the programs recommended on the NCAM website, you'll be fully prepared for, uh, for those questions to be uh, really easy. Thank you very much, uh, Loïc. And maybe, Carl, you can also share uh, with us your experience during the admission process. How did you feel about it? There was anything that was difficult for you? So uh, my situation is quite particular also because I was in a French school, uh, Lycée Français, and, uh, but I integrated in an American university afterwards, and then I went to ICAM. So I couldn't apply also to Parcoursup, even though I had my French baccalaureate. Uh, so I applied also through the university website. Uh, I find it, uh, it was quite uh, easy and straightforward. Uh, all the documents and questions uh, needed are, are, uh, are really simple. And then when, you, when I uploaded all my documents and uh, all the requirements, I had uh, an interview also, which uh, uh, the same as Loïc uh, had some questions and I had to answer the questions. And then I had an English test because I didn't have uh, before uh, coming uh, to ECAM an English uh, assessment test. So I did that. But uh, overall, it was quite straightforward. If, I, if you follow all the steps, it's very, very clear. And uh, you have uh, some, some two or three weeks, I think, to complete each step. So uh, time-wise, it's uh, really, really uh, uh, simple and effective. OK. Thank you very much for sharing your, um, your experiences. I see that there is still no questions regarding the, the process or anything else that you are interested in. Um, so I will uh, keep going with my own question. So now I would like you, uh, Loïc and Carl, maybe to tell us a little bit more about your life um, in Lyon or in France, more in general. Uh, how do you feel as a student in a city like Lyon? I know that this time is not maybe the, the easiest one to be a student because lots of things are um, forbidden. But still, how do you feel uh, living in, uh, in a city like Lyon? And do you have the possibility to uh, do any activities uh, outside classroom like clubs or, uh, or associ association? Uh, Loïc, you can, you can start. Um, so for me, having uh, lived in France for over 12 years, uh, coming back was a bit challenging because I have experienced a different culture, but I was able to settle uh, easily. And um, I felt like uh, when you integrate ACAM, it's just ev everyone is there with uh, the same, not really the same background, but the same motive. They're here for the same reason to uh, for this and to get the same diploma. So there's it's easy to get connections and uh, and make friends. I had uh, I had some good friends after the first week at ACAM. Even the first day, I knew I had people that I could talk to. Um, and um, in the beginning of the school year, there was wasn't the, the COVID situation was a bit better. So I was able to um, right before the first day at ACAM, there was. Uh, the ACAM engineering uh, year two who um, uh, had uh, a little party on the um, uh, near the, the Rhone and where we were able to uh, to meet to meet them and meet other uh, new uh, ACAM students and I was also able to uh, join the music club was unfortunately never never opened and the the football uh, football club which had two or three practices I uh, was able to meet some people but in the end, it's kind of, kind of complicated. But Lyon, uh, as Michael said, is uh, a great city. And the campus is right in the middle of a forest. So you get to uh, eat with a great view every single day. Uh, I think it's uh, it's pretty good. Thank you very much, uh, Loïc. Uh, Carl, you can tell us a little bit about your experience in Lyon and in France. 
Yes, yeah, so uh, for me, uh, before coming to Lyon, it was uh, for my first time uh, going to France for a long period of time. So uh, before uh, coming to ECAM, I was afraid that I would have a culture shock or uh, something, but uh, it all went pretty smoothly. And uh, even in my first day and first week, I made a lot of friends and everyone showed me around like I was part of the school for a long time and uh, I found it really welcoming. And uh, as Loïc said, uh, the campus is located uh, two or three minutes from the center, so which is really nice. And it's on the top of a hill, so we have uh, the best view uh, uh, in the city. And uh, also Lyon is a great city to live in. Uh, there's quite a lot of green spaces and uh, everyone is super welcoming, even outside the campus. And uh, overall, yeah, I would say it's a pretty uh, good experience so far. And uh, I think I wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't have gotten uh, better if I would, if uh, I would have went to another city. Thank you, Carl. Maybe Michael, because you also come uh, from abroad. Actually, we all come from abroad because I'm Italian. So, but Michael, you have been a student uh, in Lyon. Now you work here. So what was your experience once you, when, when you arrived? Exactly. Uh, so I've been in Lyon since 2012, so it's been a little while now. But it's a great city. Me, it's like I don't come from the biggest city in the United States, <laughs> far from it. But I like already the size of Lyon. While it's a big city, it's still quite small and it's at the same time, big enough that you can find everything that you want. Me, who had a very like international background, I like that. I'm pretty much I can find anything from whatever country I want here. It's quite nice. All the social circles. Me, I'm a huge gamer and kind of a geek, and it's really easy to find other. Like, there's video game bars. There's everything that you want here in Leon and. So I find that it's just a city that makes it really easy to live in. So it's not like I know me who not saying that Paris is a bad city, but it's just too big. Every single time I go there, I feel a little bit lost. And that's a feeling that I've never had in Lyon. And it's also really helps, especially one of the advantages of people. Once you have that little social network that you get, usually our students will get that in the first couple of weeks and you feel like you've been here for a long time. And that just makes the city so much better to live in. So it's like once you're able to, hey, you want to go to, I don't know, can't really go to like a bar or a restaurant right now, but in non-COVID times, you can just do that. It's quite easy. And especially once you have friends and you can do a lot of things that you want it. Honestly, I think it's a really great city and I think it's a really good city to live in and especially if you want to have that student experience. I had a great student experience because of it. Thank you, Michael, for the enthusiasm. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it is true. Lyon is a very uh, nice city to live in. It's a city that welcomes each year a uh, hundred of thousands of students uh, from abroad and from France. So in normal times, let's say it's a very uh, lively, lively city. So there's many activi cultural activities and um, I'm sure you can find something that it's interesting to you, that is appealing to you uh, while uh, in Lyon. Uh, one maybe last practical information regarding the um, restaurant on campus, both Loïc and Carl, you, you spoke about it. Uh, once you are in Lyon um, and you are enrolled in the ECAM engineering program, you will also be able to access uh, our own uh, cafeteria, a restaurant, uh, which is um, which offers uh, special prizes for students. But you will be able to get uh, all of your uh, meals uh, at the cafeteria. So if you are not really into cooking, uh, it is a good solution for you. Um, to, to have all, uh, all, uh, all your meals. So still no questions. So I will maybe just um, go for a very last question to uh, Loïc and uh, Carl. And then if there's still no question, we will say goodbye. So I just would like to know uh, from both of you, why would you recommend to an international student uh, 
either from the background of Loic, so a French student who is actually abroad, or a, a real, let's say, international student like Carl, why it is a good idea to come uh, to Lyon and to uh, study within the ECAM engineering program. Uh, Loic, you want to start? Yeah. Uh, the first thing that comes uh, to mind for me is that having the whole program in English uh, and in a um, especially in a in a good level of English, the classes, it's not it's not like a beginner's level. It's uh, you must know English to be there. So if you're fluent in English, you won't have any trouble following classes. So I think that's uh, that's a great point. Also, um, the international aspect with the uh, internship in the fifth year, getting the double diploma and getting a, another feel of another country. If you, so if you come from, I don't know, the US, you come to France to study and then you go to Australia, uh, you'll have so many experiences in, by just going to one school. And I, I think that is great. And as I said before, um, people are really welcoming at ICAM and so it makes, the adaptation very easy, even though uh, most of the students uh, are French natives, they don't, you're not gonna get excluded if you're not able to speak French in the first weeks, they're gonna try to, to adapt. Uh, and there's enough international students so you can make connections. Thank you, Loic, sorry, I couldn't uh, open my micro. Uh, Kat, uh, you want to share? Yes, so I think uh, most of uh, the people who are joining program or going to university are going to be 18, 19 or 20 years old. And I think uh, location-wise, Lyon is the perfect place to start your uh, international experience. Uh, as uh, Mike said, it's uh, quite a big city, but not that big. So you want to be in a city which is actually easy to navigate and uh, where you can find everything and uh, where there isn't a lot of people everywhere, like in Paris. So I think that's a key point in, uh, in studying in Lyon. I think that uh, the program uh, with, its, with its international uh, international students joining from all over the world is really uh, nice. So you get to experience a lot of cultures from, uh, from people all around the world. And uh, studying engineering in France and is uh, in one of the the pioneers in the field of engineering is going to give you an experience in your life that you I think you know you're not going to find elsewhere or it's very hard to find elsewhere. Thank you very much to uh, Loïc and Carl. Thank you for sharing your experiences with us today. Uh, Michael, is there anything else you would like to add before we, we say goodbye? We'll see. So I just hope to see. Well, I'm not really seeing any of you since this is a YouTube live, but I'd be happy to especially coach you through all of this. It's and I really, me, I think Carl, both of us, we and even you, Louis, you're French, but also it's like you were in the U.S. It's like we've all taken like the dive. We've come to France, but I think it's been a very rewarding experience, and I think that's something. Definitely to take into account while you're making your decision is to really the experience that you'll get here is first off is quite unique. I don't think there's really any other engineering school in France offering the same thing that we are at the time. And it's really a unique experience and something that's going to change your life forever. So it's something I really encourage you. And we're definitely all here to help you through it. It's there's going to be ups and downs, hopefully a lot more ups than downs. But we're going to be here to coach you from day one until when you get your diploma. So we're really happy to have you with us. Thank you very much. So um, thank you to all of you for watching this live. It is it will be available for you to um, rewatch it on our website on the YouTube channel if you wish. If you have any questions regarding admissions, the program, or anything else, you can uh, contact us. So the email address is admission at ecam.fr. So really do not hesitate. We are here to uh, accompany you uh, during the admission process. And as you have seen uh, with Michael, we, there is a dedicated team to accompany you once you are uh, an enrolled uh, student. 
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, there were no questions, but it was um, a pleasure being here. And um, hopefully uh, uh, we will see you on campus uh, next year. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye.